Oh, Atlas, why did you choose to publish this? Fuck you! What the hell? Oh, they're just speeding through those, weren't they? Greetings and welcome, everybody, and welcome to the Testament of Sherlock Holmes! There's no music on the intro screen, so I can only take that as a good sign. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This game does not save automatically. Please remember to save regularly. So the warning is that there are no autosaves in this. Okay, I didn't think there were before, but still. Press A to validate. Oh, boy, what am I doing? All right. So... Fuck me. Let's, uh, let's have a look at controls here. Now, apparently this was actually designed specifically for the consoles. And I can see that right now. Of course, they don't allow you to use the D-pad to access your inventory or anything, because, you know... I guess, uh, looks like right bumpers are for... item selects. Run button, okay, looks pretty standard. Pretty, pretty easy to remember. Options, might as well look at this. Master volume, voice volume, music volume, effects volume. Okay, so that, that, that actually seems pretty, you know, easy. Subtitles are on, good, 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 good. Invert camera, though, thank you. Aim. Oh, I get a cursor here. Uh, let's see, what is my usual cursor for this piece of shit? I usually use something around, uh... Oh, that's interesting. Nope. Oh. Let's see, let's go with... There. Difficulty! That scares me. What are the difficulty settings here? Hard, normal... Normal and hard, huh? Alright, we'll go with normal. Uh, contrast, brightness, crank that up a few notches, because I hate it when they do that shit to me. No, oh, actually looks a bit better. Uh, save changes? Yes. Uh, I may adjust those as necessary, but for now, let's go! Yes. Why would I not want to start a new game if I press the option? The first appearance of Holmes, a study in Scarlet in 1887. Okay, so now they're trying to say that they do know Sherlock Holmes history. All right, all right. Don't get the aquarium. Fuck you. I hate you and I hate your new logo. Focus. You guys haven't focused since 1998. Spiders. You guys are new. We were just here! What the fuck? Um... Alright. Creeping up the stairs into the attic. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yippity-yay-yay. That is a different... What the heck? Wow, though, these children are ugly. Whoa. Hey, where are the apps on this thing? Oh, putting on the Ritz. La, la, la. La, la, la. Okay, this. Ow. Well, ah. two minutes in, and one of them's already got tetanus. What's this? Hmm? Pilot to Bombardier making final yeah. approach in Grandpa's attic. No sign of cookies. Over. Holmes and Watson dolls? I'm going to kill you. Poppins! What in the fuck is going on? Mr. Watson doll, would you please show us on the Sherlock Holmes doll where the boy touched you? Ah. What the fuck did you do, kid? Ooh. You broke it! What in the oh, fuck? Oh look! It's a book! It's a book! Maybe it's a book about pirates with a treasure map. You mean like in the Goonies? No, I don't think so. It says, Aya Aya Cthulhu Fatal. 
I think it's a new song. I wish that I had seen through all your lies. Oh, start from the beginning, not the middle. Wow, these mouth flaps are terrible. And so I decided to pick up my pen to relate the most disturbing episode of my life thus far. Should little kids it really be reading this? Early one morning in 1898, when Sherlock Holmes invited me to accompany him on a visit to the Marquis of Conningham. Wow, I would have liked to have heard that kid try to pronounce Marquis of Conningham. Oh, hi, Holmes. Well, this character model looks decent, if a bit paranoid and confused. Watson, my dear fellow, we can now go and inform the Marquis that we have found the Samoan necklace, and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too. Which wow, these mouth me. flaps are have terrible. You sold the theft, Holmes? It's like as and bad so as Dragon Age, or I Dragon's indeed, Dogma. Watson, and believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London, as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes to boast that his methods are equal to mine, but once again the outcome has contradicted him. After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. As you I should, Watson. See. But you do not observe, Watson. There lies the difference. It is a matter of course. It is a matter of a course? A matter of what? course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is fast asleep, the service bell within that room rings out and alerts the servants. They dress quickly and come running. But the door is locked, and there is a strong smell of burning from within. A, a smell of burning? Later, the master of the house himself. The robbed Marchioness's husband, the Marquis of Conningham, arrives and unlocks the door using the sole key. A fire has started inside the room, but they have managed to arrive in time to put it out. It is at that moment that the Marquis realizes that the famous Samoan necklace, which had been safe within its glass cabinet only a few hours earlier, has now disappeared. In order to explain, let us confirm my theory before the arrival of Inspector Baines. You control Sherlock Holmes. Look around using the right trigger. Okay, this is a little bit different than what I'm used to before. Actually, it's a lot like L.A. Noir, if I recall correctly. Look at the broken showcase and press A. This window was cut with a diamond. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. You can always interact with A. After a close examine, the icon will turn green. Please move Sherlock Holmes near the left window. You should see two icons simultaneously. Left window, that'd be this one. Examination plus mode plus A. You can switch with cur the cursor with using the little stick. Look at both clues now. All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Okay. Now I want to look at the other clue. I want to look at the other clue. What the hell is going on here? I want to look at the... There we go. Wait a, a minute, that's using the right control stick. Diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, but he was interrupted. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but he was interrupted. Uh, no, because that... He'd have to be really fucking tiny to get through a hole that size. And I used the right stick to do it. it what in the... Wait a minute. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, go to the chimney, you'll see a hand icon. I'll get a magnifying glass. Take it and press A. Okay, go to the chimney. Hand icon. Hand icon. Oh, I get it. When I press A button, then it goes to a select screen, and then I can choose. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, game. You can examine or activate your items by pressing the Y inventory. Okay, we got our magnifying glass and our trusty pocket knife and matches that he's been carrying around since the Awakened. Good to know we're at least sticking to our guns here. Uh, near the piano, 
some music scores on the floor. You can activate the item by pressing... Okay, there it is in our inventory. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Alright. Let Loading. us examine the crumpled scores that have fallen off the piano. Mm. Okay, here's where you can either fuck up or make me happy, Frogwares. Let's see. The I don't understand why these music scores are covered with soot. Okay, I kind of screwed up there. So let me can I can I redo that or no? Okay, uh, not sure about that. You can change the first person view by pressing X. Okay, always useful. Make the character move faster, but hold the right trigger. Yay! Press left trigger to activate your Sherlock Holmes sixth sense. It will show you a hint that has not been discovered yet. Okay, so yeah, this is a lot like L.A. Noir with the you know, the intuition system. Do I have a limited amount of the sixth sense, or...? You can now search the room for other clues. Okay. So now activating the sixth sense, does that activate... What did that do? Well, yes. Candle. It must have fallen from the chandelier. Interesting, if true. These documents are not very interesting, even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The Marquis himself! Thank you for your commentary, Watson. Okay, so where is this, supposedly this other clue? I activated my intuition point. All right, here not we go. very well kept, this aquarium. I can see a dead fish floating on the surface. Yeah, eat that. Okay. What did that do? Whoa, there's a lot of shit to look at here now. Footprints. You are not going to get on your knees to examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The servants must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. Huh? Okay, wait a minute. It seems to be kind of picky about when and where I can actually interact with stuff. Heading towards his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Okay. Strange. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. And the last the fire one... started here, just beneath the bell pull. Whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire, unless it was pulled before the fire started. Great job there, Holmes. The chest this. wasn't opened. The necklace wasn't in it. <sighs> That's a clue, I guess. Again, what does this do? Do I have to hold it down, or...? These documents are not very interesting, even though they're addressed to the min- The mu- Okay... I think I said something over here. This draft screen makes an ideal hiding place. Oh fuck, it's the lemon the tree! theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. Strange, there aren't any prints, yet I'm sure that the thief hid here. It's the fucking lemon tree from The Awakened! Well, it's good against the mini mosquitoes we may find. Okay, so... From what I'm getting, this whole hint system seems pretty much All useless. The are locked. They've not been forced. All the windows are locked. All right. Maybe it works better in first-person mode. No. Okay, wait a minute. 
it just clicks here. But if I look this way, I get like a little sizzle sound and it points me at the door. So, your hint screen only works if I'm looking in the direction of the clues. It won't actually point me towards it, or and it only lasts like a second. Okay. When the servants arrived at the door, having been alerted by the bell, they saw evidence of the theft and the fire, but they didn't see the thief. This door is very hard to force. The Marquis is the only person to have the key. The thief could not get out through here until eventually, when the door was opened by the servants. Alright. Found all ah, the clues. Mr. Holmes, you're already here. Good morning, Inspector. You've arrived just in time. <laughs> Scotland Yard arrives like the cavalry, always in the nick of time. AKA ah, always late to the party. I know that satisfied expression, Mr. Holmes. Have you already solved the case? It's possible. We have retraced the thief's rather unusual footsteps. He is a true acrobat. Huh? What I cannot understand is that when the servants entered the room, there was no one to be seen. An acrobat, perhaps, but an invisible one. Watson, <laughs> how did you draw that so. conclusion? The only explanation is that the thief escaped before the servants arrived. I don't know how, but there is no other way. Half a point for the doctor, nil for the inspector. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that you find the situation amusing. Well, Mr. at least Holmes, Holmes is still a conceited well, prick. Then. Explain. Dr. Watson was correct when he mentioned acrobatics. How? But he is mistaken about the nature of the acrobat. As for you, Baines, you're quite incorrect, as the thief was in the room when the servants entered. Explain, for heaven's sake, Mr. Holmes. Watson, how could a thief be missed in the middle of eight men? Uh, if he was one of the no, servants? Because he is very small? Uh, stop teasing us, Holmes. Exactly. Huh? Because he is small. Small and remarkably agile. What? You're thinking of a monkey? And a trained a monkey mon at that. He? Without a doubt, a Leontopicathus rosalia from Central America. What? 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 The what? animal had been hidden inside the room for several hours, calmly a awaiting monkey. the signal from his master. A, a monkey? Once night had fallen and the room was empty, a high-frequency whistle alerted the monkey that it was time to begin the procedure for which he had been trained. What? No, wait, stop, no! from his hiding place and used the point of a diamond to open the glass cabinet and steal the necklace. Huh? He headed across to the window by the chimney, but knocked over the stool which in turn knocked aside the fire guard and started the fire. Monkey. The frightened monkey jumped from the chimney by swinging from the bell pool, thus alerting the house servants. He then went to the window and began to monkey. use his diamond to cut a hole. What in the but fuck? But was interrupted by the staff trying to gain entry via the door, and he panicked again. He ran across the piano, scattering the music scores onto the floor, before hiding inside the chandelier, knocking over a candle. Huh? Finally, the servants and the Marquis entered the room, leaving the door open while they put out the fire. It was during the confusion that our agile little thief made his escape through the doorway. A as monkey! As that. A brilliant explanation! Bravo! No! And the necklace? I can see it from here, my friends. It's right in front of us. We have searched the room from top to bottom, Holmes. How were we unable to find it? Where because is we it? We paid insufficient attention to the only victim of this affair. The what fish? Thing? No one is dead. The fish? Yes, Watson, a poor goldfish whose destiny was to die, crushed by one of the most precious necklaces. The mm. monkey killed the fish with the necklace? The aquarium is just beneath the chandelier. I understand. The little monkey had likely hung the necklace around its neck and lost it when he leapt from the chandelier. The jewels fell into the aquarium where they remain. Wait a minute, now, how would it fall off its neck if it just jumped? What in the fuck? Seriously, what in the fuck, frog wears? How do you jump the shark right out of the gate?